to Arc or not to Arc, working with Arc Audio and using our kit. Audio return channel, or Arc, in MHub and XTND sounds cool, right? Send audio from your display back to your AVR or Matrix, providing cleaner installs, less points of failure, and importantly, lower install costs. Sounds great, but there's a catch. Arc can also be quite frustrating to set up, and it's fair to say that installers have a love-hate relationship with this relatively new technology. At HDA, we think part of the problem is that Arc isn't understood well enough, especially some of its shortcomings. So the team at HDA have put this video together to show you how to avoid most common pitfalls we've come across helping other HDA pros over the last year. 10 top tips when specking for Arc. Is the TV itself the optimum source? Often you'll have a number of options via the TV's onboard app itself. Could be most challenging choice to integrate. Consider perhaps if extraction from a source is a better solution that might work. Which source is best could come down to connectivity ease, number of services available, or even integration driver ease. Just because Arc is there doesn't mean you should automatically use it. Arc is probably an afterthought for a display manufacturer. Some displays may only do stereo audio over its ART connection. Test ARC with your brand of choice or confirm the manufacturer's rep about any known issues or limitations beforehand. Do your research. Search online and read manufacturer's forums where people openly talk about any issues they're experiencing. You'll immediately get a feel for which brand or model handles ARC better than the other. Software has made the landscape fragmented. Models from the same manufacturer can differ depending on what software they have on board. Make sure they are up to date to minimize this as much as possible. Do not hinge your entire project on ARC reliability. Unless you have replicated the setup recently before and are confident, do not hinge your entire project success on ARC. Plan for redundancy. Leave yourself room to wire for optical or install some CAT6 as a backup. CEC. Remember that ARC works when CEC is enabled. If you have disabled CEC for compatibility reasons, then you need to rethink or wire an alternative. EARC. ARC and EARC are not the same thing. EARC has the bandwidth to support uncompressed multi-channel audio. Devices that are labelled as supporting ARC will work for ARC, but not EARC. Right now, options for extending EARC are minimal. Don't get caught out. Make sure your audio hardware can decode ARC audio. ARC audio uses compressed audio for multi-channel formats. Ensure that your AVR or soundbar can decode ARC audio sent to it. Is it even the right port? Finally, this one is way more common than you may think. TVs now come with a mixture of HDMI ports with each offering different features. Make sure you're connected into the correct port as indicated in the display manual. Read the full article over at hdanywhere.com, links below, or contact our support team for help with your art project. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments below or by giving us a like and a subscribe. I'm Colton from HD Anywhere.